I'm sure you've heard the name Hilary Gardy, the daughter of Godrich Gardy, who is the former Secretary General of the EFF. Hilary went missing back in 2022 and the news of her disappearance made headlines. Unfortunately, a few days later, her body was found ditched in the bushes. Hillary was born on the 1st of April 1994. She was 28 years old in 2022 when the incident happened. She's originally from White River, a small holiday town known for farming. This town is situated north of Mbombela in Bumalanga, South Africa. The farms in this region produce fruits, nuts, veggies, flowers and timber. Hillary went to school at Ward School Rob Ferreira and matriculated in 2012. She went on to study systems development at ATI, which is a software training institute. In 2017, she enrolled at the University of South Africa to study information technology. Hillary had her first job at the Revine Technical College in White River as an IT specialist. Hillary was the daughter of Godrich Gardy, a South African politician who is the former Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighters, a political party popularly known as the EFF. Mr. Gardy had a long history in politics. He became involved in politics from as early as 1985. He was part of the ANC in Botswana when he was exiled from South Africa for being involved in student uprising. When he returned to South Africa, he worked for the ANC before working for the EFF. Mr. Gardy is currently working as a director and high court attorney at Gardy Godrich Attorneys Inc. Not much is known about Hillary's mother. However, based on her Facebook account, it seemed like they had a close and loving relationship. Unfortunately, her mother passed away some time back in 2018. On the 29th of April 2022, on a Friday evening, Hillary was reported missing by her family. On the day of her disappearance, she was last seen leaving a shopping complex in Nelspreet at about 5.30 p.m. She was with her three-year-old daughter at the time. Days later, on the 3rd of May 2022, her body was found in a timber plantation about 60 kilometers away from Nelspreet. The body was discovered by workers who were walking by. Her body was badly injured. Hillary was allegedly abducted by three men as she was walking out of a shopping complex with her daughter. The child was dropped off hours later in Kamagugu, not far from where Hillary stayed. She was found roaming the streets by herself the child was taken to safety and fortunately she was unharmed. Unfortunately, we cannot say the same for Hillary. She was allegedly extorted for money. An amount of 1,300 rands was transferred from her account before she was brutally beaten, raped, stabbed several times and eventually shot at the back of her head. On top of that, the three assailants allegedly ditched her body in the bushes about 60 kilometers away from Nelspreet and ran away with her car. They allegedly withdrew money from Hillary's account after the attack. According to the witnesses, she was severely bruised and she was found clutching onto pieces of grass, indicating that there was a struggle and perhaps at some point she was still alive and trying to escape. When the autopsy report came back, it was discovered that she had a gunshot wound on the back of her head. It didn't take long for the police to find out who were responsible for Hillary's death. Allegedly, one of the assailants consulted a Sangoma to cleanse him from spiritual dark cloud linked to killing a person. The Sangoma allegedly blew the whistle after the assailant failed to pay him for his services. This led to his arrest and the subsequent arrest of the other two accused. The three accused were Sipom Katra, Philemon Lukele, and Albert Gama. So I'm just going to give you a brief background on the three suspects. 
Sipom Kachwa, a 39-year-old male who works as an integrated development plan facilitator in the city of Ekuruleni's strategy and corporate planning department, claimed he was busy with his wedding or lobola preparations during the time frame when Hillary went missing. His wife, Zanele Magagula, gave a testimony in defense of her husband. She claimed that the SMS that tipped off the police was sent by her ex-husband, which I assume is the Sangoma. She claims the main objective for sending that SMS was to disrupt their wedding plans. The Sangoma, on the other hand, claims that Sipo Mkacha approached him asking for a cleansing for killing someone. After Sipo allegedly failed to pay, that's when the Sangoma contacted the police. The SMS also contained allegations that Mkacha promised to abduct and sell his wife's two children with albinism to the Sangoma. Accused number two was Philemon Lukele, a 47-year-old man who worked as a senior manager of the ANC in Bumalanga legislature. He owned a guest house named Intsika Guest House in Bombela, which housed students from the University of Mpumalanga. It is alleged that this is where Hillary was held captive. Police found bloodstains they believed came from Hillary in this guest house. The guest house was said to be evacuated and was dubbed the House of Horrors by Julius Malema. The University of Mpumalanga ended its contracts with the guest house following the murder allegations and Philemon Lukele was also suspended as a senior manager of the ANC in Pumalanga. The third suspect was a 52-year-old man who worked as a security guard at Inziga Guest House, owned by accused number two, Philemon Lukele. Albert claimed he never met Hillary and he was nowhere near the location where Hillary was kidnapped. Albert was allegedly seen loading Hillary's body in the boot of a car, allegedly. The three suspects applied for bail back in 2022 and every time they applied, bail was denied. According to Colonel Tamsang Makalipi, the three suspects have been overheard by several inmates to have been plotting to kill one of the witnesses in the case. The colonel argued that bail should not be granted due to the safety concerns of the witnesses. Later in the case, a fourth suspect named Hlabi Hwa Rasinguna was added to the list of the accused. Hlabi Hwa confessed to firing the shot that ended Hillary's life after he was arrested for another double murder case of two Mbumalanga girls, one of which was his girlfriend and the other was the girlfriend's sister. Hlabi Hwa allegedly fired several shots at his girlfriend before turning the gun on her sister. This happened two weeks after the murder of Hillary. This suspect was adamant that he acted alone. He claimed that he was the one responsible for the death of Hillary and he acted alone. Fast forward to May 2023, a year later, after a long and complicated legal dispute, the Hillary case was ready for trial. However, in a bizarre and mysterious turn of events, charges against all four accused were temporarily withdrawn by the state. After the state revealed it was unable to trace the three witnesses, this meant that the men accused of killing Hillary were free to go home. The suspects were released from custody except for Tlabi Hua who was sentenced for another murder case. Allegedly, the witnesses in the matter were not willing to testify in fear of their lives. The family was obviously disappointed at how the police handled the case from the beginning. Allegedly, the police failed to identify the gunshot wound at the back of Hillary's head. Uh, gun cartridges were not collected at the crime scene, leading to crucial pieces of evidence missing. The family suspects that a motive behind the death of Hillary was much deeper than just a common criminal act of abduction and extortion of money. At some point, the family believed that the abduction and extortion was just a decoy.